Close enough. People are going to be coming back at one time here. So, if you are new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. You are watching the Big Dan Show right here on YouTube. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys following along, watching the content, subscribing. Meanwhile, over here on lane one, Mama's backing up. Papa Bear's in the water, trying to get the boat centered on the trailer. Why it has come to this, I have no idea. I just saw him in the water a few minutes ago and kind of ignored it. I thought he was putting on some straps or something. But they're doing the in and out, in and out deal. He's like, further deep on deeper well buddy if you're trying to push it over on the trailer she ain't got it deep enough oh check him out right here yeah you get a little squirrely on it Back on lane one, she's gonna put her in reverse and go for another dip. He's trying to push it, but truthfully, the boat's not even floating. Expecting him to lay out on his stomach, start kicking with his legs to push it up. <laughs> Looks straight to me. My boat, Mama, she knows better. She's gonna have to get down and strap it up and put a safety chain on. There she is, right there. She does a jam up job. We're gonna do a video here on the channel real soon, uh, putting our boat on the trailer, how we launch, how we dock it, the whole nine yards. We're gonna post the video here probably in the next couple weeks of the whole process when we get to the boat ramp, what we do, how we back down, how to back down properly how to put your boat on the dock properly, how to tie your lines off, the whole scenario. Because we've got so many followers that are new to the boating world and they actually come here to the Big Dan Show to take tips on what not to do. And if I can show you guys what to do and what I've learned over the years, I've been boating, I guess you could say professionally for a very long time. I spent eight years of my early adulthood in the Coast Guard and I have seen it all, done it all, heard it all. I think I've heard it all until I come to the ICW and check out these people. So, always something new happening here on the channel. Again, thanks for watching. If you like the content that you see, drop a comment below, share a video. It helps the channel grow. And we appreciate you. If you just subscribed for the first time, welcome to the family. like the motors are running before it even got into the water.
Are we launching it with the cover on? What's going on here? Meanwhile, over here on lane six, I've got no idea what's happening. I'm missing something here. Looks like they t almost tore off the anchor getting off of the uh, trailer. That's what that loud banging noise was. Okay. He might be a first time driver. She better be careful up there. Looks like my man here, he's got the uh, catamaran style. really struggling. What in the world is going on? Seriously? What in the world? <laughs> I mean, boys, you gotta love it. like they got it straightened out over there we're all good again we got a string of boats coming here at ICW in Orange Beach Alabama we like to hit this boat ramp up every few weeks you never know what you're gonna see Check him out. His trailer's floating. When he backed in, he floated all the way off to the right. like he's good let's check out guy right here on lane five he's coming in hot oh he misses it bam slams into the dock he's gonna get a little push from his friendly neighbor
another trailer floating over here. Everyone goes into instant panic when the trailer starts floating. The only time this can be extremely bad is if the trailer actually floats under the dock. I've seen it happen. The trailer floats under the dock. They pull forward, destroy it. So hopefully that's not the case here. Cat Daddy right here has got her in forward. Let's her slam right into the dock. It's a big old truck. Get in there, girl. Get. Whew. That's a big old truck. I just want to see her back all the way down in there. Just submerge that thing. So squeeze right in around that corner. These smaller boats are very easy to trailer. Oh, he ain't. He ain't on the money. Oh. That was a little rough, but these smaller boats are a lot easier. Personally, I'm running a 26.6 center console, twin 150s on it. She ain't the easiest to uh, maneuver around for somebody with little experience. Y'all check them out. Then they're they're like, well, they did it. Oh, my man almost went in the water. He was stepping off, and the lady driving just throws her in reverse. My. Send me a copy, just a good one. Me pulling on the trailer. All right, it's gonna be on the Big Dan show. There you go. All right. Hey, if it's not good, don't put it on there. <laughs> I don't know now. <laughs> Are we really doing this? We can't back her up straight, so we're just lifting the trailer. I can't let my man live this one down. It's a little tight in here. I'm not saying it's their first time, but I'm saying it ain't looking good for them. But meanwhile, this dude has completely missed it.
like to buy a new captain, please, for $400. Where'd they hit? people that are running through here making this crazy wake of no consideration for people no respect oh my gosh the dude just high stepped over the bow the guy's a maniac check him out he's going into a $180,000 boat here which trailer is he trying to get on? The one on the right or the left? I can't tell. This man right here done messed up the whole flow of things. The guy on the left side of the frame, he looks like he's trying to go in on the white SUV. He's gonna have to make a loop because the guy on the right got him all jacked up sideways. Looks like he's gonna nail it there. And the old sailfish is gonna spin around. You got 700 Porsches pushing on that thing, boy. Barge, ready to go out. Really? Oh, look at the Freeman. Looks like he was having some issues. The back end just swung out. Looks straight to me, though. Somebody perfectly centered it. All right, we're, we're, we're experiencing someone that's feeling a little timid up there. I'm thinking she's in there going, maybe giving him a call, going, I don't know what to do. There he is, he's on the phone. She's saying, I don't know what to do. He's saying, come on back and then turn your wheels to the left. All right, so she's gonna start backing up. 
if they're not having an argument. They may be having an argument. Okay. It's in reverse. I see the reverse lights. All right, now turn your wheels to the left. Now turn them to the right. All right, keep on coming straight back. Now turn your wheels to the right. Turn your wheel to the right. Okay, so she turns it to the right a little. Honey, I can't do this, okay? No, 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 sweetie, that's the left. I said turn your wheels to the right. And so my man's down here. I know you're going to say it ain't my man. But he's on the phone. He's trying to coach her through it. She's getting frustrated. They're going to get this, though. I've got faith in them. All right, turn your wheels to the right. So there's a plethora of things that can happen. He ain't even on the dang, is he? I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mic up. See if we can hear the conversation. Dial it in. He said he's going to charge a boating service. Or he's going to start a boating service charging $20 a trailer. boys we're doing the bumper boat thing today there's no current in here there's a little bit of wind not too bad back over here to the middle our friend right here with the black flag I don't know if that's some kind of uh, it's definitely not a sign of surrender I don't know what it means but he just went in totally missed it almost slammed into that boat that's pulling out through in reverse I was going to the bathroom I ran over here anyway we'll see what happens from there No, this ain't looking good for him. He's drifting to the left and uh, motor swinging that port side. Not looking good. He's going to go ahead and throw it in reverse because he's missed it one more time. Yeah, not looking good for Buddy with the black flag. Maybe this woman's coming up on the dock here and she's going to take over the helm. I don't know if they're together. No, they're definitely not together. She wouldn't be with him. All right. We're going to go for number three here. Third time's a charm. Does anybody have any advice for our friend here on the pontoon? Drop a comment below. Let me know if you can help my man out. He's struggling. You might clip his... Nope. So you might clip the bow on the end of that dock there, but now we're going to go in for our third attempt. Ramp is definitely slowing down. We've got some fine entertainment here. A couple boats coming in off the intercoastal. We still got plenty of daylight and a whole lot of trailers in the parking lot and a lot of a lot of time to go. So stick around you're watching the hottest new show on the gulf coast right here in orange beach alabama today 
the Big Dan show, boat ramp fails, stupidity at the boat ramp, whatever's happening, we're on it. My man's going in for his third attempt. Got some people on the final turn here. They're starting to pack her on up. And let's swing back over here and check our boy out. We've got a much larger boat backing down beside him. That's got to make him nervous. He's been going into the uh, into the trailer. Wind pulls him around. That port side just swings. He's got to be a little intimidated right now. He's going in pretty dang crooked. This is not looking good at all for him. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. He just missed his mark. He's missed it again. As a woman gets out, she's taking her shoes off. She's fixing to dive in and grab the boat and deal with it herself. Uh-oh. Holy smokes. He may have just... Folks. You are watching a master at work. Look at him. He's got it. I'll give him a, a round of applause. A little hand clap. That had to be no exaggeration. Shoo, these people are out here going out for an evening on the water. He's manipulating both those engines. He's got one in forward, one in reverse. Spinning that thing around. Motors are still straight ahead. And he's, again, he's just manipulating that steering using the throttles. We haven't had much sea action here today. 